Have you ever wondered how our ancestors hunted huge mammoths? Picture early humans, not so different from us, facing the primal need for survival in a world that was both fascinating and terrifying. In the heart of this ancient world, the dawn of hunting began. It was a time when humans were not the apex predators they are today, but instead, were often the hunted, not the hunters. Yet, necessity and innovation spurred them on, leading to the development of incredible hunting techniques that would shape the course of our species' history. The tools they used were simple yet effective. Sharp rocks became cutting tools and wooden spears served as their primary weapon. These early humans were not just survivors but innovators, shaping the world around them with the tools they had at hand. But hunting mammoths, those colossal creatures from a bygone era, was no small feat. It required more than just tools, it demanded strategy and teamwork. Teamwork was the lifeblood of these early hunting expeditions. Every member of the tribe had a role to play, from the strongest warriors who would engage the mammoth directly, to the fastest runners who would lead the beast into a trap, to the elders who would plan the strategy based on years of hard-won wisdom. This sense of community and cooperation was not just a byproduct of hunting, it was a key to survival. The dawn of hunting was a time of great danger, but it was also a time of great opportunity. It was a time when our ancestors began to shape the world around them, using their intellect and their courage to overcome challenges that seemed insurmountable. It was a time when humans began to rise above their place in the food chain, laying the foundation for the world as we know it today. The first steps towards hunting were filled with danger, but our ancestors were up to the challenge. Their audacity, tenacity and innovation are still evident in our DNA, shaping us into the resourceful beings we are today. As the Ice Age descended, the mammoth became a crucial resource for survival. Picture, if you will, a creature of immense size and strength, towering over the icy plains. The mammoth, with its long curved tusks and dense woolly coat, was a formidable sight indeed. But for our ancestors, this giant was not just a symbol of the brutal Ice Age. It was their key to survival. Now, hunting a mammoth was no mean feat. Its size alone made it a daunting opponent, not to mention its powerful tusks that could easily gore a careless hunter. Our ancestors, however, were not deterred. Instead, they rose to the challenge, developing more advanced tools and strategies to bring down these beasts. The spear was one of the most critical tools in these early hunts. Made from sturdy wood and sharp stone, these spears were designed to pierce the mammoth's thick hide. But a spear alone wasn't enough. Our ancestors had to get close, too close for comfort to these enormous creatures to use their spears effectively. So, how did they do it? They used the power of the group. Hunting parties would surround a mammoth, confusing and distracting it, while the bravest among them moved in for the kill. It was a dangerous dance, a test of courage and cunning, where one wrong move could mean death. But even this was not always enough. Sometimes our ancestors had to resort to clever tactics. They would dig deep pits, camouflaging them with branches and snow. Then, they would drive a mammoth into the trap where it would fall and become an easy target. These methods may seem harsh to us now, but we must remember that this was a time of survival. Every part of the mammoth was used, from its meat for food to its bones for tools, and its hide for shelter. Nothing was wasted. The mammoth hunt was a testament to human ingenuity and the will to survive. It's a story of our ancestors' bravery, their resourcefulness, and their relentless pursuit of survival in the harshest of conditions. As time went on, our ancestors refined their hunting techniques. And so, the story of human survival continued to unfold, intertwined with the evolution of hunting strategies. In the beginning, the weapons of choice were simple and primitive. Our ancestors armed themselves with hand axes and spears, tools they could fashion from the bones and stones that littered their environment. Imagine the strength and precision it took to bring down a mammoth with nothing more than a pointed stick. It was a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of these early humans. But as thousands of years passed, so too did the sophistication of these tools. The spear was not abandoned, but rather, it evolved. It was honed, balanced, and eventually attached to a throwing device known as an atlatl, increasing its range and lethality. Then, around 20,000 years ago, a revolution in hunting technology occurred. The bow and arrow were invented. This was a game changer. No longer did hunters need to risk their lives in close quarters combat with their prey. Now, they could strike from a distance, improving their safety and the success of their hunts. But tools were only half the story. The strategies of hunting also underwent significant change. Initially, hunting was a solitary or small group activity. Over time, however, 
our ancestors began to recognize the benefits of coordinated group efforts. They learned to work together, to drive herds into traps or over cliffs, making the dangerous task of hunting large game a community effort. The use of fire became an invaluable strategy in hunting. Not only was fire used to cook and preserve meat, but it was also used to drive and control the movement of prey. Similarly, the domestication of dogs added a new dimension to hunting. These loyal companions helped in tracking, cornering, and even bringing down prey. Hunting techniques evolved in tandem with human society, becoming more sophisticated over time. As we navigated the challenges of our environment, we adapted, we innovated, and we survived. The legacy of these early hunting techniques is still visible today, in our continued fascination with the hunt and our ongoing relationship with the animal world. Despite their size and strength, the mammoths couldn't withstand the combined pressures of climate change and human hunting. This is the story of their end, a tale of survival, resilience, and the inevitable march of time. Mammoths, magnificent creatures that they were, began to disappear around 10,000 years ago. Some believe it was overhunting by our ancestors that led to their extinction, while others point to a more complex mix of factors. As the Earth's climate warmed, vast expanses of the mammoth's icy habitats began to thaw. This shift in climate, coupled with the relentless hunting by humans, pushed these gentle giants to the brink. It's important to remember that these early humans didn't hunt mammoths for sport. The mammoth was a source of life. Its meat provided food, its hide offered shelter, and its bones and tusks were transformed into tools and art. The loss of the mammoth was a significant blow. It meant that these ancient societies had to find new ways to survive, and they did. The extinction of the mammoth forced humans to innovate, to adapt. They began to domesticate animals, turning to cows, sheep, and goats for sustenance. They began to plant seeds, watching as the first sprouts of wheat and barley broke through the soil. This shift marked the dawn of agriculture, the very foundation upon which our modern societies are built. But the mammoth was not completely forgotten. Its image was immortalized in cave paintings, its memory passed down through generations. These ancient echoes of the mammoth remind us of our shared history, of the delicate balance between humans and nature, and of the enduring power of adaptation. The mammoth's disappearance marked the end of an era, but also the beginning of a new one. It is a stark reminder of the impact we have on our environment, and the need for us to live in harmony with the world around us. It is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the unending cycle of change and adaptation. As we look back at the story of the mammoth, we are reminded that every ending is, in its own way, a new beginning. The mammoth hunt left a lasting legacy on our society and our relationship with nature. This epical event has had far-reaching implications, influencing not only our survival tactics, but also our modern hunting and conservation practices. Let's delve deeper into this fascinating aspect of our history. Our ancestors' mammoth hunts were not mere acts of survival. They were intricate operations that required planning, teamwork, and a deep understanding of their prey. These hunts laid the foundation for the development of essential skills, such as tracking and trapping, which are still used in hunting today. The ancient hunters' respect for their prey and their environment is a lesson that still holds relevance. As we fast forward to the present, we see how these age-old techniques are mirrored in contemporary hunting practices. Modern hunters, much like their ancient counterparts, employ strategic planning and teamwork. They study their prey, understand their patterns, and track them with precision. This is a testament to the enduring legacy of the mammoth hunt. But it's not just about hunting. The mammoth hunt also influenced conservation practices. Our ancestors' understanding of the delicate balance of nature led to the concept of sustainable hunting. They realized that overhunting could lead to the extinction of their vital food source. This understanding paved the way for today's conservation efforts, where we strive to maintain the balance between human needs and wildlife preservation. Yet the legacy of the mammoth hunt also sparks a heated debate about the ethics of hunting. On one hand, hunting is seen as a means of survival and a way to connect with nature. On the other, it's viewed as a cruel sport. This dichotomy reflects the complexity of our relationship with nature, a complexity that traces back to the mammoth hunt. The mammoth hunt may be a thing of the past, but its lessons continue to resonate in the present. It's a reminder of our intricate connection with nature and the responsibility we carry towards preserving it. Our ancestors' legacy lives on, shaping our practices, our debates, and our understanding of the natural world.